Addiction, loss, recovery, a rebirth. KRHD's Rebecca Fiedler is investigating the trials and the tribulations of a modern-day foster family living right here in the Brazos Valley. She files a report on life, death, love, but ultimately, family. When a College Station child, a little baby girl in foster care, passed away after contracting RSV, one might think that there was no hope or light or happiness to be seen. But Bella's situation was different. Bella was only able to grace the world with her smile for eight months prior to her passing, all of which she spent with her foster family, the Russells. Immediately after being born, Bella was taken from her birth parents. Her birth father, who has been living with a drug addiction, says he once felt animosity towards his kids' foster families. I didn't want to talk to him, you know. I just like along with CPS, I just felt like, you know, the foster family was against me as well. Things changed with the Russells. Phillips met the Russells for the first time at Bella's funeral, and from there a healing relationship formed. After her passing, we've even gotten closer. Um, he is an amazing guy. He has done a 180, and I can't speak it well enough of him. Becca Russell's employer, local nonprofit BCS Together, organized this Monday's event in Bella's honor, in which the public were invited to enjoy outdoor fun while donating shoes and Bibles to the charity's foster care closet. For Bella's bio dad, it's relationships like this which are life affirming. Now the Russells have helped him get connected to SOS Ministries recovery program. There's a lot of things that I tried to avoid while I was out in the world. And now that, you know, now that I'm with the ministry and, uh, you know, got saved and everything, like a lot of things have opened, a lot of opportunities have opened up. Reporting in Bryan, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.